very fine good evening dear learners i'm dr satish vishwambar lakde from walchand institute of technology sholapur and i welcome you all to this session on personal interview frequently asked questions faq part 1 the learning outcome at the end of this session students will understand how to respond to frequently asked questions in personal interview now pause this video for some time and think about this question write five frequently asked questions in a personal interview in your course journal and then resume the video now let us start with the frequently asked questions in a personal interview so the very first question which is asked in a personal interview is introduce yourself this is a very important question so let us understand how to respond to this particular question this question is very important because it is always said first impression is the last impression so you need to answer this question very nicely so that you make a very good impression you need to prepare your script so what is important is you need to prepare your script for this particular answer and once you prepare the script then you can rehearse it so when you start writing your script you can start with your full name it is always important to mention your full name because that is something very important then you can include education college and university you can also mention the city town or village you belong to then you can mention strengths and you can also mention your usp that is unique selling proposition after that you can also include your short term and long term goals you can also include your skill sets then your hobbies if you don't have hobbies you can also include your interests and then your family background now this is a moral answer for the question introduce yourself so let us see i am samir ajay patil i am from sholapur i am pursuing b in computer science engineering from sholapur university my strength is my passion for creativity and innovation in fact i have proved it in my b project my area of interest is computer aided design reading and trekking are my hobbies Robin Sharma is my favorite author. I have done trekking in the Himalayas. Trekking helps me to set new benchmarks in my life. My short-term goal is to get a job in an MNC and my long-term objective is to start my own organization. There are seven members in my family. My father is a farmer and my mother is a housewife. As I belong to a farmer's family, I have learned the importance of hard work and time management. i owe a lot to my parents so this is one moral answer to the question introduce yourself of course you can make changes in this according to your profile this is just a guideline then the next question is what is your strength now this is very important question because it shows do you know yourself or not for this question you need to do your sort analysis or what is called as sock analysis so it's better you do your sock analysis you need to know your strength your weakness your opportunities your threats or challenges so once you do your sort analysis you will be in a situation you will be in a better situation to answer this particular question you should not bluff because this is something about yourself so if they ask you a question what is your strength you should directly shoot the answer you should tell your real strengths and i suggest that you should mention two or three strengths because that is something good to mention then the next point is support strengths with real life examples what i suggest here is when you mention your strengths it is better you support those strength with real life examples where you have used those strengths 
Now this is one model answer. My strengths are creativity and leadership. Our BE project was selected as an innovative project at university level and I am the TNP student president. So these activities show that you have used your strengths in real life situation. The next question, what is your weakness? Now this is also a very important question and for this you need to do SWOT analysis. Weakness should be inconsequential, that is it should not adversely affect your chances of selection in the job interview. So I would recommend that you tell one weakness. So what you are doing to overcome your weakness, so this is very important because when you tell the weakness, the HR manager or the interviewer would definitely ask you okay, what steps you are taking to overcome your weakness. Now here is the answer. I am a perfectionist and so I miss deadlines sometimes. Due to this, I sometimes have a hard time delegating my work. So this is one of the weaknesses you can mention. The next question, tell me about your school college. Now you should have the information about your school or college and you should speak with pride about your school and college because uh, that shows your connect, your bonding with the school and you need to be a very good brand ambassador for your school and your college and that would be reflected through your answer. So you need to speak with a lot of passion. Indirectly, this question also tests your communication skills and uh, as I said, your bonding, your connect with your alma mater. So be a brand ambassador. So be a brand ambassador while answering this particular question. So here is one model answer. The name of my school is St. Joseph High School, Sholapur. The motto of our school is truth and duty. The school imparts values of truth to be loyal and honest in our endeavors and to carry out the duties assigned to us. The school has completed 111 glorious years in imparting education in all fields, academic, physical, moral and spiritual. It is a matter of great pride and prestige to be a part of this reputed institution. Now the next question is, tell me about your city or native place. So here you need to know the information about your city, about your native place. And as I said earlier, you need to speak with a lot of pride and uh, indirectly this particular question tests your communication skills as well. And uh, your answer also tells the interviewer how much you know about your city, about your village. So when you talk about your city or your native place, you should talk with a lot of enthusiasm and passion. So in short, you should be a brand ambassador for your city or your native place. Now this is one model example for the question, tell me about your city or native place. The answer, Sholapur is a city located in the southwestern region of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Sholapur is located on major highway rail routes between Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore and Hyderabad with a branch line to the cities of Bijapur and Gadag in the neighboring state of Karnataka. Sholapur is connected through airline, through airlines way as well. It is the fifth biggest city in Maharashtra and the 49th most populous city in India and 43rd largest urban agglomeration. Sholapur district has the highest number of sugar factories, total 39 in Maharashtra state as well as in India. Sholapur leads Maharashtra in production of Indian cigarettes or BD. Sholapuri chadars and towels are famous in India and also at a global level. Now the next question, define yourself in one word, one sentence. Now this is a very important question and it is uh, frequently asked in personal interview. This also tells, do you know yourself thoroughly or not? So know yourself, as I said, you need to know your SWOT analysis. Thorough understanding about yourself is tested here in this particular question. Your answer should be, uh, your answer should be quick and confident. So the response should be very quick and confident. And uh, as I said, use SWOT analysis for this. So if you ask me to define uh, you in one word, you can just use this particular answer. This is one example. So one word, that is you can say 
uh, confidence or if it is one sentence you can say Satish is confidence. What are your career goals? Goal setting is very important. So you need to break the goals into short term goals and long term goals. Your goals uh, give an idea to the interviewer ki how, you, uh, how you have done goal setting for your life. So this is one model answer. My short term goal is to pass B with flying colors and get a job in a multinational IT company like Infosys. And my long term goal is to start my own IT company. So this is one model answer. Of course, you can make changes as per your requirement. So these are the references for this particular uh, session. Uh, I wish you a very happy learning. Thank you very much.